My very first trip to the United States was in 1945 during World War II, and I was a, a one-year-old baby. And we came to the States for the full furlough because Holland had just been liberated by the Canadians. And the Germans, had, the Nazis had starved the country, and there was no food for the population. So there were no visitors allowed. So my father couldn't return to his home country for that part of furlough. So we stayed in the States. And every two years after that, we came to both countries, to the United States and to the Netherlands, for that two-month furlough, a month in each country. So I can't really remember my first time. I remember as a young child coming to the United States and being, I remember particularly one instance that had to do with segregation. That is probably my first major memory of the United States. I was either five or seven years old. And I had a, I have a lot of freckles and I was very brown from the sun because I, it's a tropical island. And there was a water fountain and a bathroom that said colored and white. And as a child, I looked at my skin and I said, I'm not white, so I used the colored. And a lady pulled me away and said, you can't do that. I couldn't use that drinking fountain. I had to use the white drinking fountain. And I remember being shocked that I was white and shocked that anybody made it, did it made any difference which water fountain you used. And that was my first exposure to segregation and one of my first impressions of how strange this country was. Pretty much just, you know, what my mother tells me, which is we landed in New York and then went, drove to Massachusetts. Um, my uncle picked us up. And one story my mother always goes on about is, obviously I didn't know English at the time. And he said something to me in English, and I said something like, what is he talking about? Or something like that. So that's, that's pretty much all I remember of that first day. It was a long flight, as it usually is, about 24 hours. Uh, we stopped in Los Angeles, as you always have to, to refuel, and so my parents decided that we would stop by Disneyland for a couple days. I remember just driving on the highway uh, in Los Angeles that there was so many rows of traffic, and of course it was on the other side. Um, I also, for some reason, remember like the, the carpool lanes and how they have like the white uh, diamond things. I don't know why that stands out in my mind, but it does. Um, just like the whole mass of people that were around and how far um, the city seemed to stretch and everything. It's a lot different. We were thrilled, like just to play in it. Um, we didn't really even have winter coats at the time. We had like thin fall jackets because we had no idea, but I don't remember caring that it was cold at all. Um, I remember one of the first snow day, well not snow days, but days that we had snow and I went to school, I got into trouble for throwing snowballs because no one told me we weren't allowed to. I didn't think it was dangerous, I just thought, oh it's snow and oh I was in such trouble. <laughs>